Now, in this video, we're going to show seven different Fibonacci spirals to the length of pi. Now, to work the length of that those spirals out, you just need this figure here, 1.618. And you get that figure by taking the square root of 1.25 and then adding 0.5, and then you get 1.618. And all you do is multiply the radius of the circles up or down by that figure, add them together, and you get the length of your spiral. So firstly, we'll look at um, a Fibonacci spiral that is only two squares long. So now if this square here has the dimensions of two, then the Fibonacci spiral from this point all the way around to this point comes to the length of pi, 3.1415. The next one is a Fibonacci spiral to the length of 3 squares. So if this square here is has the dimensions of 1, then this spiral, 3 sections long, is the length of pi. The next one is a Fibonacci spiral which is four sections long. So one, two, three, four. This square here, the largest square, is two divided by the square root of five. That's a Fibonacci sequence to the length of pi, four sections long. The next one is a Fibonacci sequence to five sections long, so one, two, three, four, five. This one's a very difficult one to work out. This square here, you work out the dimensions of that square by dividing one by two plus one point, the square root of 1.25. So two plus the square root of 1.25. So you go 1 divided by 2 plus the square root of 1.25. You find this measurement here for a Fibonacci sequence that is 5 sections long. And this length in red comes to the length of pi. Next we have a Fibonacci sequence that is six sections long. Now this is a bit easier to work out. This square here has the dimensions of 0.5. So much easier. So from this point here all the way around to here is the length of pi and that's six sections long. The next one is seven sections long, also a difficult one to figure out. This little square here, to work out the dimensions of this square, you take the square root of five, you divide that by 3.75 plus the square root of five, and then you divide that by two. So again, the square root of 5 divided by 3.75 plus the square root of 5. Divided by 2 gives you that radius of this circle here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sections long. And that Fibonacci spiral comes to the length of pi. Now last one, also a difficult one, this little square here. To find the dimensions of this square, you divide 4 by 3. So 4 divided by 3, divide that by the square root of 5, and divide it all by 2. That gets you that measurement there. So 4 divided by 3, divided by the square root of 5, divided by 2, and you get this measurement here. And that gives you a Fibonacci sequence 8 sections long. So from there all the way around to the middle 
is the length of pi with a Fibonacci spiral of eight sections long. So you can see you can geometrically work out many different lengths of the Fibonacci spiral to the length of pi.